Now, it's Christmas time. You're probably resting, chilling out, and that is probably the best thing that you can do for your creative brain. But while you're chilling out, I want you to bear one thing in mind. And this isn't hard. It's all about patting yourself on the back. What? I know. Patting yourself on the back every time you complete a creative task. Here's why. This isn't just flaky stuff. If you work in a creative profession and you have to have ideas on a deadline and they have to be good ideas, you're going to be under stress. Now, if you finish a creative task and you pat yourself on the back, you psychologically say to yourself, hey, we did it. We nailed it. That wasn't so hard. We're good at this. The next time a creative brief comes along and you crack it again, you pat yourself on the back again, you say, that wasn't so hard. You're going to start to get in the habit of looking at creative briefs and creative challenges and going, we can crack this. And you know what? That kind of positive reinforcement makes you crack it because you start to have greater and greater confidence in yourself. Now, if you're wondering where I came up with this idea, it's something that I've been practicing for 30 years, working in ad agencies and working on my own. But I also came up with this idea, and this is a sort of a little Christmas freebie, from this great little resource called the Creative Whack Pack. Now, if you watched my mini marketing moment oh, a few weeks ago, you'll see that I was advocating that you get yourself one of these. And if you didn't get one in your Christmas stocking, Go to Amazon right now and order yourself the Creative Whack Pack. It is a deck of cards. I have no profit in this, so I'm not advocating this because I want to make a buck. But get it delivered by Amazon and check it out over the Christmas holidays. It will fill your head with great creative ideas for the new year, including to give yourself a pat on the back.